Dave with the Crafted Channel here, and we're looking at a uh, non-professional series Craftsman 12-inch lathe with a quick change gearbox. This is the same gear arrangement on the 10-inch lathe. Um, this is just adjusted up a little higher because the headstock's an inch higher off the bed. And this is a lathe that I uh, haven't started working on, although I've started gathering parts for. And I believe I have everything to make this into a nice lathe. But what I want to talk about is the feed rate. These uh, Craftsman Atlas lathes with the uh, quick change gearbox are well known for having too high of a, of a uh, lead screw feed rate for general machining. As slow as you can get it is uh, four thousandths and two tenths and that's with the shift lever all the way, the right one all the way to the right and the left one all the way to the left in E. This is a slide gear and I'm, of course we're talking about the, the ratio with it configured exactly like this. The slowest feed rate we can get is a .0042 uh, thousandths per revolution. And this causes for, uh, it's been, I've heard it described as a uh, very, very fine thread pitch. You don't get a, a super nice finish on the, uh, on, the, on the stock, on the work. So I found a uh, simple way to cut the feed rate in half, and it only requires one part. Um, and I've, uh, I believe it's only one part. Yes, I believe it's only one part. And I'm going to show you on the Old Grey Lady, which is a 10-inch version of this lathe, how I've accomplished that. So the normal arrangement would be this 48 tooth gear would be on the same shaft with this. And a 32 tooth gear, or 36 tooth gear, would be here, would be meshing with this pinion and with the pair of gears that's here. And that's the normal arrangement. Now what, so what I've done here is we're now coming off of the 32 16 compound gear which is the same as the other lathe we just looked at and we're meshing directly with a 48 which I've moved back to this uh, pet, this position here on the back side of this through one of those uh, collars that drives them, that locks them together I've got a 24 tooth gear and the 24 tooth gear is meshing with this so we've got this normal compound gear that cuts the uh, feed in half and gets it down to match all the numbers on the gearbox and then I've made a compound gear here to do that one more step, to do it one more time. So all of your uh, gearbox readings will be double. So if it uh, says it was going to produce uh, 10 threads per inch, since the carriage is moving half the speed now, it'll be 20. Now I primarily have this in here for uh, machining purposes, but I can do almost all of the threads, common popular threads, um, that I would normally do um, just by remembering to double the number I see on the gearbox. Okay, so here we are at the front of the gearbox and let's look at all the ratios we can achieve. We can achieve 8, 9, 10, we're just doubling these numbers, 10 threads per inch, 11, ooh, I don't know what that is, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 36, 40, 44, 46, 48, and so on. You can see that we can achieve basically every possible thread um, that we could achieve before with the exception of um, these very low thread counts. And, and I can always take the 32 tooth gear right here or is it a 36? I'm sorry it's a 40. I can always take the 40 tooth gear and put it in place of the compound gear that I made and get it back to exactly these gear ratios. I don't know how often you think you're going to make a, uh, a thread that coarse, probably not very often, just like we're not going to make threads you know this fine very often either. So we're shifting the range of, of the gearbox but I think we're getting a much better value um, and capability in our ability to uh, have a very slow feed. So here's an example of our new 0 .0021 inches per revolution feed rate.
looks like it's barely moving. It's like it's not moving at all. That's pretty awesome. Now, I didn't spend very much time thinking about this. I'm sure you could uh, add another uh, stack of gears in there and cut this in half again. And then we would be down to uh, uh, a thousandth of an inch per revolution. But I think this is going to be quite satisfactory. I look forward to testing this out. I think I'll put a little note on my uh, gearbox to double the uh, number, just, as a, just so I can remember it. I don't imagine that I'm going to change this back. Let's look at the cross feed. Now I still think the cross feed is uh, a little on the fast side. I need to measure it, but it seems faster than the uh, carry speed to me. Hey, we can run them both together. Does that produce a 45 degree bevel? I don't know. Something to experiment with someday. So there's a way if you own an Atlas or Craftsman lathe to reduce the carriage feed rate that's really simple. Let's go over the parts required to accomplish our feed speed reduction. Originally what we had here was the slide gear. And this is a 40 tooth gear that's on a uh, change gear coupler. Oop, pushed it all the way through. It's a 40 tooth gear on a change gear coupler. And then that coupler spins on this bearing here, this insert, and the bolt holds it on. And there's a washer over top of it, and we see the washer here. That This same assembly is inside of these two gears. Normally, this 48 tooth gear and this 48 tooth gear are sitting on the same shaft now normally when our compound gear that I made with the 48 and the 24 behind is not here, this slide gear is here. And it's normally in this position out towards the front and it's engaging with this gear just like this is, but it's engaging with the surface of one of these gears. This gear and this gear is a match. This gear would be on the shafts. So they'd both be side by side. This gear is engaged here and with one of these. But now since our uh, oh and this slide gear can be moved back on the shaft to engage with the big gear back with the big part of our compound gear so there's no gear reduction to the gearbox. And that gives us our uh, very fastest feeds and our very lowest pitches four, four and a half, five, five and a half and so on on the top of the Atlas Quick Change gearbox. So this 24 tooth gear that I coupled with my 48 here as a compound gear to reduce my feed came from a uh, another Craftsman Atlas lathe that I bought as a parts lathe and I got the complete uh, change wheel set. That particular lathe did not have a quick change gearbox on it and you actually change gears. There's a stack of gears that come with that lathe, and that 24 is one of the gears. Now there would be other ways possibly of achieving this, um, possibly a 40 and a 20 tooth gear. Um, you could do the same thing. Uh, the, this gear cannot get very large, or it'll begin to interfere with the shaft here when the, uh, when the keyway comes around. The keyway can't hit the gear. So I could have some more teeth on here, but my gear in the back needs to be half the teeth of this. So if I had a, uh, this is a 48, so if I had a 54, this would have to be a 27 back here. And I don't know that a 27 exists necessarily. I just picked these two gears because one was half of the other, and it would all fit together mechanically. But that's where you get that gear. You can probably buy one of those on eBay. Um, if you watch for, uh, I don't know, 10 to 20 bucks, a whole set of change gear wheels is uh, about 200 bucks, uh, but there's individuals in there in the 10 to 20 dollar range. So all you have to do to achieve this is buy one 24 tooth, and you can make this setup. Of course, you'll still have your 40 tooth gear, so you can still revert to the old setup and, and get the machine back to stock. But uh, there you go. This is one of my got my hands dirty projects for the weekend, enhancing my lathe, giving it better capabilities, actually uh, solving a shortcoming 
um, the minimum feed rate is kind of fast and, and this makes it a lot better so I look forward to being able to do nicer finish work. So please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I appreciate your support for my channel. Now get out in your garage, get to work on one of your pieces of equipment, get on Craigslist, start shopping for some equipment. Make your workshop better every weekend if you can.